Hi guys, thanks for joining me. Uh, I heard recently that a department store here in Australia called Maya was selling off their Black Series 6 inch uh, TIE Fighters for $100. And as you can see here, they originally had a price of $399 Australian dollars on these vehicles. So I thought, what the hell, $100, you normally pay $35 uh, at retail for a Black Series 6 inch figure here. So I grabbed one, a uh, bit of an impulse buy. I had no idea what I'm going to do with it. It's absolutely massive. Uh, I've seen other people's videos on YouTube uh, showing these these vehicles, but until you actually see it in person, you don't fully realise how big this thing is. But anyway, what the hell? Here's a bit of a closer look at the box. Now mine was uh, pretty beat up. It was delivered in another box with uh, packing materials and all that sort of stuff, but yeah, it turned up pretty trashed. I would have liked to have kept it, but given its state, I don't think I will. There's some nice images of the uh, the vehicle all over the front. There's where the included figure was. It's that sort of regular Black Series artwork. Image of the interior of the cockpit on top. And round on the side, you can see that is the first Black Six Black Series six-inch vehicle that they have released, and obviously now released a couple more: Ray Speeder and Luke's Land Speeder. There's a description of the vehicle on the back. A couple of different languages. Some more photos of what you're getting. Nice big close up of the uh, cockpit there. And there you can see the original price tag. So originally they were trying to sell it for 399 and then at one stage they've tried to flog it off for 300 And on the last side is a picture of the Elite TIE Pilot. Now I'll start off having a look at the included figure, which is obviously a Force Awakens TIE Pilot. So it's basically the same figure as the uh, regular release, as you'll see shortly, with just a few different paint operations. Uh, the most obvious ones are the red stripes down the front of the helmet. I actually like that. That looks pretty cool to me. Um, but there are a few other differences as well. So obviously the red stripes. Now the connections where the hose goes into the mask is painted slightly different on the included figure. It's uh, silver around the connection. The other one is just sort of grey. The logos on the shoulder are smaller on the Elite Pilot than the regular issue. Um, that's pretty much it. And here is a closer look at some of the details that are sculpted into the, the vehicle. Starting with the uh, cockpit hatch and the little antenna array thing there which, is, uh, which can rotate. And um, nice little, nice red paintwork on the side of it to sy uh, symbolise the special forces. It's got the rotating cannon on the bottom. There's no firing projectiles or anything like that. And detail in the the panels on the wings. A lot of detail on the uh, centre of the wings there. Pretty cool. Now there is some sort of, uh, I think it's weathering paintwork on the, the darker grey section of the wings there. I think that's intentional. Um, but the odd thing is, it's only on the wings, it's not on the rest of the cockpit. So, it's a little bit odd. Okay, so I've tried to have a good look at the cockpit here. There's a lot of nice detail in it. Uh, even on the, uh, the bottom of the hatch, lid, whatever you want to call it. Now, 
there are on each of the seats there's a there's a, a waist clip to hold figures in place and I really don't see the point of, of these things. It just makes it really difficult to get figures in. I can't see kids running around playing with this given the size and the cost of it. So I really think those waist clips are unnecessary and it just makes it difficult to put figures in. But apart from that, the cockpit is fantastic. Lots of nice detail and paint work and all that sort of stuff. Great. Now I've placed it in front of a detailed cabinet here just to try and give you a sense of the size and as you can see it's much wider than the cabinet and it's probably just under one and a half sections tall so it's absolutely huge alright I think that will just about do it for this video uh, this thing is insane I have no idea why I bought it but I guess for a hundred dollars I couldn't say no plus the free shipping if you're in Australia you've got the space to display this thing and you don't already have one you've got to spend a hundred dollars go and grab it. As of filming, this is still on sale, uh, according to the my website, so check it out. Alright, thank you guys for, uh, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and may the force be with you.